It's starting broadcast. Probably <laughs> other things too. We're live. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I was just giving everyone a moment to get on. Golly, I'm here. Sorry if I've expressed a dripping down my face. And wanted to tell you I've really gotten into these bars. And you should too. They're wonderful. They're like kind bars, but cheaper. Get them in your life. These are called jo dark chocolate peanut and almond bars. Woohoo. Trader Joe's people. Get them in your life. They're popping up everywhere. There's now one in Birmingham, Alabama, I hear. And there is one in my beloved Athens, Georgia. So I know you can find your nearest Trader Joe's and get some of these amazing products in your world because um, it's cheap, it's easy, it's kind of healthy. I mean, it's eating chocolate, but in the form of a proteiny bar. So whatever, it's a delicious snack and allows for a little chocolate bite without feeling too guilty about it. Anyway, much more important stuff to talk to y'all about today. I was so struck last week when I talked to you guys, I talked about getting together a launch team to help us launch the book and asked you to enter into that and help us get the word out to your friends about our book, blah, blah, blah. So you responded in spades and it totally overwhelmed us. In a day and a half, we had to shut off the mechanism, which we weren't sure if we did that exactly right, to, so sorry, to like cut it off. Cause we already had 200 people in there and we actually had to, to go through and select even the top 200 to then get the 200 books we have to those people. Those people are in 31 states, by the way, which is so cool. It's not just concentrated in one certain area. And four countries. So if you're watching and you're one of those three people in Australia, good day, mates, woohoo, hope you babies, or in Canada or somewhere wonderful, I love that you're helping us. That's just so touching to me. And along with that, and even more than that, your stories. Oh my gosh, the fact that you not only want to like be the bridge here is just phenomenal. The fact that you want to introduce our little book to your world really touches me. But more than that, I finally took the time to read out, Jay show all this, we printed out every letter that somebody wrote as an entry to the launch team and he asked the question, we I should say, asked the question, what has this story meant to you? Oh, people, you have no idea. Like the answers to these questions would make you cry out loud. And that's not just me. That would make you cry out loud. The stories of people who have been following since day one, so praying for me, which is phenomenal when you think about strangers praying for you, getting an email to pray as I'm going into surgery to potentially not come out the other side, praying for my family, to then continuing to pray through at least part or all of recovery, the initial phase, and then sometime in the last few years, their own tragedy happens. So they've been praying and watching this miracle and then they have their own nightmare and are encouraged to carry on through their ordeal because they've watched it happen up close and prayed for it. So it's overwhelming. I'm reminded of 2 Corinthians 1 where Paul talks about that we comfort others with the comfort that we ourselves have received and how just precious is that of the Lord to do. And I don't pretend it has anything to do with me but it has everything to do with our ability to share honestly and should tell you, share what's going on so the other people can really enter in. Because here, this is a book. This is like promotion of a book, okay? And yet, what are we doing? We are allowing people to come alongside us and help us. And what is that doing? Opening the floodgates for them to bless me and bless their network, because I have no doubt that they will say to their people, so when my husband has his own crisis, I looked back at their crisis and I was encouraged. So here, read this because of how it impacted me. 
So we're all getting this opportunity to share in sufferings. And how beautiful is that? It's such a gift to get to do that together. Yes, Jay, question. I was just going to say in that passage, too, what's so profound and so countercultural, really, is that um, we give away this thing that we've received. We give away this comfort, you know, and it feels like, oh, maybe this will be a loss. Maybe I won't get that comfort back. But the reality in the kingdom of God, the the comfort he gives us, yeah. when we give it away, it's refilled. So kind of in the giving, we receive more. And exactly. it's a beautiful encouragement to just say, you know, when you've been given comfort through your suffering, like, give it to somebody else. And Absolutely. Don't, receive it even don't more. waste it. Yeah. So we yeah. get the hope. When you hope it forward, what you get is actually hope given back to you. So Absolutely. Mark that one down, people. That's a good word, Jay. Well, when you yeah. hope it forward, what you get back is more hope. I love that notion that that is really how God's economy works, that we are filled and fueled continually by the filling and fueling of others. Mm -hmm. What a duh, I mean, moment, and yet so beautiful that we could do that. I just have to tell y'all, um, launch team, if any of you are watching this or are going to see this, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. In reading your stories, I read every single one of these letters, I've cried so many tears hearing your heart and how my story, I'm going to cry again, has impacted your journey and how... Truly, my nightmare has been used in your own life for encouragement and for strength and just for perseverance in your own nightmare. And I can't tell you what that means to me. It is the absolute opposite, I don't know the word, of isolating, which is the worst, most petrifying fear when you suffer is that you're alone. But when you read this, you know what this is? This is a real fat list of people who are saying, no, we're with you. And that is just everything. It means more to me than I could ever say. Hmm. Sorry, always kind of crying. It's part of my charm, right? Anyway, I want to specifically ask you to pray for my friend, Brooke, who I do not know. Where, what city is she in? Do you remember, Jay? In uh, Orange, California. In Orange, California. Sweet Brooke, I don't remember your last name right now, but you are part of the Lots team. And she asked to be a part of the Lots team last week after I made this plea to you. And then subsequently, this weekend, her husband had a stroke, is that right? Uh, a heart attack. Her husband had a heart attack. And we are going to mail her copy of Hope Heals to their ICU room, to where he's in ICU. And that that just does something to me, to think that we will, it is exactly the reason we wrote the book in the first place, is to get, get a resource into the hands of those people in those horrific situations and feel like the title of the book applies to you, Hope Heals. And that's just so cool to see the Lord already do that, <laughs> even before it's released through our book launch team. Isn't that amazing? We're going to be mailing a copy of this resource that we prayed would be this guide through suffering to someone walking through suffering. I mean, that's, that's cool. Get the word out to the people who need to know that there is hope and that hope does heal. And also, the, uh, the the launch team with the free advanced copies is closed because we only had 200 to give. Yes. Um, they can still go to hopehealsbook.com and click the launch team button and be a part of an email list that will, will um, kind of keep them updated on ways and um, information about the book launch and how they could help be a part of that still. So the, we, don't, we can't give any more free books out, but there's still... Yeah, but you can still that. opt in and be a yeah. part of things. So go to HopeHillsBook.com and still join our lights team. And, um, yeah, exciting. I'd love to connect with you more personally through emailing all the lights team folks and just um, getting excited about this. We are way excited about getting to share this with you. 
and um, are just so grateful. My heart is just filled. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.4, I thank my God every time I think of you because because you're so wonderful to us. We don't, well, I guess we do deserve it because um, we are sharing it with you. And everybody did some good Christ-centered self-confidence, people. But here's the thing. I don't naturally have that, <laughs> and you're instilling it in me in a very beautiful and profound way by telling me how my story touches you. So allow people to do this to you. Bless them by sharing your story so that you can be filled with that hope that overflows, Romans 15, 13, and a deep sense of you were fearfully and wonderfully made by God himself, and you had the opportunity to bless others because of that. Okay, I'm going to go. But thank you, thank you, thank you, people. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.